Well, friends, this is our first class regarding some very interesting topic, painting. Uh, most of us are well known about this particular word, painting. Few of the peoples, rather I would say, many few, uh, many peoples are very much interested about this particular word, painting. Throughout the world, painters are doing paintings every day. And now we are going to discuss about something regarding paintings. Let us start with the first part of painting, that is space division. It is very important for the beginners who is going to learn something about painting, the space division, because without space division, a painter cannot create a painting properly. So rather we can call it step A. Let me go to the board behind myself and describe it a little bit practically. Space division. This is a white board as you can see and I am putting a straight line over here. Again, I am drawing a line straight away down. I am taking another point over here. Stretching it down. Taking this particular point, moving it right away. So, here is the rectangular space. This is the space which is being or rather going to be used for doing some painting. Before doing some painting, we rather have to draw it. Drawing is the first part of painting. Then the painting uh, becomes a painting with using colors and different shades and textures and all. That we will discuss later on. Let me show you a very interesting part of space division. This particular area can be divided into four parts. Here. Let us take it as A, A, B, B. There are four parts in this particular painting. One, two, let us take it three and let us take it four. So these four parts are the place where the paintings has to be put on in proper way. Again, I will come back to the first word, what I had said, space division. Now, how to divide a space properly in a painting while we are in the, in the, in the stage of drawing. Now, let us draw something on it. It can be a haphazard one, just to show you. Just I'm drawing something to show you how the spaces are being used. So now we can see space one, space two, Space, no, no, not this one, space four. Let us forget about space three. We will talk about it later on. Space one is totally covered up. Space two is totally covered up. I haven't have forget about space three. I will talk about it later on. 
space 4 is totally covered up. What about this particular space? It has got lots of space void. As I have told before, as I have shown you before, this particular space is open and obviously the question comes why? Before doing a painting, we generally do the drawings as I have done over here. Then we will put colors on the paintings, the textures will come, the shades and everything will come. That we will discuss later on. Today we will discuss about the space division. Now I think most of the viewers are more or less little bit clear about this particular part, the space divisions of this particular drawing. Let us make it in a wide range. Let us take this whole whiteboard as our space. For our information, let me tell you something. Canvases or the space or the material on which a person is going to paint a painting can be a round one, can be a rectangular one, can be a square one, can be even a hexagonal one can be even uh, 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 something different shape that is doesn't matter the, it, the whole thing again will be the same space division now let us take this whole whiteboard as a space of our drawing because before doing painting we will have to draw the thing now I am drawing something on this particular board. It will take a little bit of time. You will have to see it minutely. Otherwise, the whole thing will be spoiled up. Though the drawing is not being done minutely, but it will have its own effect. See, it's covering the space. So, it is a face of a man in a deformed way of course and the flowers. See, as I have told you before, space number 1, space number 2, space number 4 and then we are going to space number 3. Now see again, space number 1 is covered. Space number two is covered. Space number three. If I if I draw the line one again once again. One is covered, two is covered, three is covered. Now rather four is covered. What about the space number three? It has been left alone. This particular space actually giving the breathing part of this particular painting 
and here I have intentionally left little bit of space in space number 42 because as I have told you before in space number 3 we have left space to give the breathing space to the painting but it might have happened you have to put some more spaces to make the painting much more alive and intentionally it can be done by using little bit of space in other part of the canvas as I have used over here in space number 4 and in space number 3. I hope more or less you are clear about this particular thing. So my dear friends, those who are looking at this particular uh, session uh, uh, can see the painting in front of me. As I have shown you before on this particular board how to divide a space, how to divide a space in three equal halves. Now the demonstration of that particular thing will be done over here through a painting which has already been finished. This is a painting of Lord Shiva. If we put an imaginary line AA over here and BB over here. Now see we get one two, three and four. Let me take first of all space number two, one, two, three. That means two and three. See this particular space three and two is totally covered with the figure of Lord Shiva with other things that has been put into this particular painting as a part of the painting whole part has been totally covered with the with the colors with the textures as I have told before that this thing will come after the drawing we will talk about the colors the perspectives the paintings I mean uh, the, uh, the, the use of uh, colors the textures that will be in the, in the other part. But now we will concentrate on the space division. See, this particular space is totally covered with colors and figures and everything. Now again, in this particular part, that is 1, 2, 3, 4. Part 4 is also a little bit covered. Covered with white and blue colors, with textures. We will talk about textures later on. Now let me use this particular word. Textures this is the technical word as far as painting is concerned. The textures has been used over here more than this particular part. Now so as far as the space division is concerned, this particular part is also been covered with textures and colors. So only one part is left, this particular one. Now, you might have asked me, you have told, I have told you before, the space will be on this particular side, that is on the right hand side. Now I am showing it in the left hand side, it doesn't matter. It can be on the right hand side, it can be on the left hand side. It can be uh, uh, a little bit rightish, it can be a little bit leftish, it doesn't matter. So again, here it has been co covered with textures and uh, different colors the whole other part is covered and here the space has been given which is the breathing space and because of this particular space the whole painting is looking nice if we cover this particular space with all these textures and all that this particular painting could have been a suffocating one as I am using number of times the word suffocating one. Suffocation actually is very much related to living things. Why I am using this particular word suffocating one when I am describing a painting? Actually, when we paint a painting on a canvas or whatever it, the material it may be, we are creating something that is coming out from our, from our uh, uh, inner self and we are thinking that particular thing as a live one 
and that is why we are uh, uh, using this particular one suffocating because without this particular word this particular space division cannot be properly described it is not only a technical word philosophically it is very much right suffocating one so again let us see it this particular painting has got different textures and another one perspective that we will describe a little bit later on perspective see this is the thing this is the object i mean if it is lord shiva let us take it as a lord shiva it is lord shiva of course this part you can see first then this particular part then this particular part so that means first then second then third it's gradually moving away from you even it is a two dimensional painting so on two dimensional painting three dimensional thing can be created by using perspective we will talk about perspective later on after talking about space division a little bit more let me take another painting to make it much more clear to you this is a very good example of space division this particular painting has got different colors and the space has been beautifully divided see there is a human figure there is a tree there is a bird there are flowers butterflies and everything now once again if i draw the line a a and b b see once again 1 2 3 4 1 one is covered with the plant i mean the tree the bird the butterflies the skies and everything two is covered with the part of the figure and the part of the tree and and other things four is fully covered with the figure as well as the part of the background i rather three yeah, i'm sorry it would be three and now space number 4 you can see it is more or less left alone with little bit of figure over there a little bit of uh, uh, say say a small butterfly or a or a dragonfly is there and a little bit of uh, 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 impression of a flower that's all otherwise the most of the part is been left alone with a color patches on it so this particular part is actually giving the breathing space of this particular painting if this particular part would have been covered with other figures say a flower a flower over there a bird over there or something like that the whole painting could have been not as good as we can see right now here is another very good example of space division through a painting we will see the division of space this is the canvas and this is the painting as you can see the painting of lord krishna in form of a of a village boy now see this particular again i am i am uh, taking an imaginary line a a b b 1 2 3 4 now see one is been totally covered with a huge tree two is totally covered with 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 a figure some part of this particular figure number three is covered with the other part of this particular figure and another figure rest part is left number four see the whole part is been left alone with textures that we will talk about later on but major part of this particular area there is no figure or no object this particular space is as i have told before a breathing space see how this breathing space is actually helping this particular painting to be a very live and be a very beautiful one so as far as breathing space and space division is concerned i must 
include these uh, some of the words that is whenever a artist who is specially a beginner must keep in his or her mind the space division the space where he is going to draw the drawing first of all then the paint colors will be put and then it will be a painting so before doing the drawing he has to decide which part he will leave as a breathing space that means breathing space has to be uh, uh, right right from the beginning the within the mind of the artist it should be there it might might come out spontaneously it might come out uh, uh, by thinking before it before doing the drawing but it should be there i i think i am very much clear about the breathing space as far as the space division of a painting is concerned